so I figured this was the the best way to record it by using the GoPro. But um, uh, there was a rehearsal nobody talked about, so I'm coming into the school to do that uh, sound for that. I actually figured that it was good because I wanted to do this. I'm just realizing that this is well my last semester at school and. Um, as it relates to doing sound for the school, minus my second year in 2020, 2021, all that stuff. Other than that, that year, I've been doing sound since my first year, and um, I'm finishing up my fifth year, so that's four full academic years of doing sound at uh, university. And um, I'm just realizing that it's all coming to an end. I don't know, I wanted to... Um, immortalize it because it's uh, temporal, it's fleeting, and uh, I mean, as of the end of next week, the academic semester is over, and then up to then exams. At that point, I don't know how much sound I need to be doing at the school. But yeah, this is the place where I, I learned a lot. I made a lot of connections through this, and that's allowing me to enter into the, uh, the audiovisual sphere outside of the school. And, uh, you know, that's something I want to do for the foreseeable future. I owe this place and a lot of people in this place uh, a great deal of uh, gratitude. So yeah, this is one of the last times I'll, uh, I'll be doing sound here. And, uh, life keeps going. But yeah, just time goes, time goes really quick. Yes, I like to cuff my sleeves. Time just goes quick, but... Oh well. Anyways, let's, um... So this is the chapel space. Uh, this is... I think because I'm in here so much, I often take it for granted. A giant organ. Um, I often take it for granted. Because uh, I know most of the students aren't... They don't, they, they don't spend as much time in here as I do. Um, oh, I need my keys. But, uh... No, I, I think I've almost become desensitized to being in this space, but it truly is immaculate. So, all the pews, all the, like, oh my gosh. It really is something I couldn't imagine. I did carpentry for a summer, but, like, that was just rough framing. That, this is like, I don't even know how you do this. Turning on the power. It's alive. This is... So put my keys away. This is the back room area. Where's the sandbag door stop? All right, let's... The door just doesn't stay open. It's a very heavy door. There we go. Uh, this is the back room area. Oh, that's a hot mess. Um, yeah, we just need five mics right now. Um, but, uh, yeah, this is where I come to do sound stuff and get the stuff we need for sound. The XLRs and the quarter inches. Um, so the four channel snakes at the bottom. So much random microphones back there. And you look through that, there's like a, an omnidirectional one in there for like conference stuff. Like, you, like the ones you put it like on like the, the table of a giant boardroom or something. Um, the wedges there, Allen and Heath, um, the ME1, the in-ear monitor systems. DIs, all the power cables, um, speak on, NL4, um, uh, Ethernet for the ME1s, um, random stuff further back that I don't even need. Really the only things I, I do and the things I need, uh, depending on the setup, would be the ME1s, Ethernet, XLRs, microphones, and DIs, that's most of it. Maybe the odd snake, if there's a drum kit, which honestly, that wasn't... They didn't use too many drum kits this year, which was weird. I guess there's nobody in the band class that uh, played drum this year, but there's a lot of like acoustic guitars and electric guitars, but... Yeah. So I just need five microphones. There was going to be um, a keyboard and a drum kit this time, but I guess they cancelled, so it's just like a more of a vocal practice at this point. Gang signs. 99, 100, 101. Six. 
70. 31. So that's it for positioning. Good things easy and even in space. It's a nice thing about the chapel floor. So you have all these tiles, so you can develop some sort of pattern um, depending on how and where you want to place stuff. Turning on the GLB-80. I was wondering this. I don't know why it's called the GLB-80, typically. You'd think that it'd be called like the model name and then the number would be like the inputs, right? This is 48 inputs. This is an 80, right? So I don't know what they're doing. But anyways, it takes a while to boot up because this thing is old.